All right everyone, Saturday na naman no, ang bilis ng panahon, tapos na naman ang isang linggo, nalalapit na naman ang Pasko, napapadalas na naman ang mga, tubo, mga tugtugin at mga kanta ni Sir Jose Marie no. So, uh, since Saturday na naman, we're gonna do another weekly market overview. Uh, sa mga hindi pa po nakakaalam, what we do here is we take a look at the PSEI along with the other sectoral indices from a higher time frame point of view to help us uh, form trade ideas or help us form an overall picture of what we need to be looking at moving forward and possibly use those uh, information as a way to trade to frame our trade ideas around no so let's start with the PSEI so PSEI it was another bullish week we actually break above etong mga highs na to no so just let me grab my pen tool etong high na to we barely broke above it and it's looking like we're primed to tag yung 7432 na resistance okay once price hits there medyo may katigasan yan kasi meron tayong mga series of lows na nandito that could also act as added resistance kaya siya pinili kong area kasi uh, essentially it's a flip zone or an area where both support and resistance has occurred no so if and when price tag 7432 let's see what happens then uh, moving down to the daily time frame for the PSEI what happened today was we gapped up no we gapped up broke above tong high na to as we detailed sa weekly chart and from here at least it's looking like um sa short term nagko form na nga talaga tayo nung uh, higher lows and higher highs okay so let's see kung itong bagong higher high na to will lead us to 7432 or kung magpa-pullback pa ba siya. Now, what I want to see from here is either, let me zoom in lang a bit, um, mag-consum muna tayo ng konti before tagging 7432. That part's fine. Or we could just go go ahead, tag it, then let's see what it does from there. And syempre, everyone's favorite is if we can just break 7475 area and start pushing higher from there, no? Uh, ang ayo kong makita is for price to come back down, fill this gap here, go straight down pa, break below etong 7,043 na low, tapos test it from underneath, mag-hold siya, then push lower from there. Pag nangyari kasi yun, baka, mangya, uh, baka ang kasunod na mangyari is bumalik tayo ng, sa mga low sa to, 6,9 or even all the way down to 6,7 na area. Okay? Because naakita na tayo ng bagong structural higher low, quote-unquote, diba? Ito yung high, higher low, higher high, no? Ayaw na nating mabasag sana tong higher low na to. Kung mabasag pa yan, then yun nga, baka makahanap tayo ng mas malalim na pullback and we'll have to reassess then kung ano nga ba talaga nangyayari. But so far, Q4 is proving to be okay, uh, quite bullish, no? Uh, kahit naman siguro hindi ko sabihin, everyone can see na the index is looking uh, bullish. Hopefully, nung nag-pull back tayo near 7,000, yung mga paborito nyong pangalan ay nabili nyo at uh, nakasakay kayo itong move up na to. Uh, next, let's take a quick look at serve. No? So, yung serve, uh, nagkakonso pa rin tayo dito, essentially. So, we're still waiting to see what happens. Overall, uh, bullish pa rin naman siya, bullish ranging. Uh, what we want to see from here is for price to climb back up tag the previous high, break it, para may chance tayo to target itong mga highs na nandito. Okay? Ito yung resistance natin at 2062.22. What I don't want to see is for price to eat up this entire move, break beneath this area here, itong 1720 to 1780, test it from underneath, hold, then push lower. Pag ganon, baka ang mangyari is bumalik tayo dito sa range na to pang samantala. And then from there we can assess. Pero, kung from there, sabi natin tumuloy, mabasag tong 1477 to 1517 na area dito, then I think, uh, na-undo na yung bullish momentum niya. Baka matag na yung mga supports natin here, 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 and there. Okay? But for now, uh, we're still consolidating sa highs, uh, still looking bullish. Then we just want to see what it does from here. Okay? Uh, next, let's take a look at FINA. So, FINA, last week, kung tinignan natin, ang sabi nga natin, it came back to tag 
kung saan siya nag-breakout na area. Diba? Uh, taking that as a possible opportunity to maybe buy into yung mga uh, financial stocks na type nyo, mga naikita nyo, and so on. Parang may magandang timing. And this week, tumuloy nga, and then we broke out from yung high na to. So again, this is looking like we might come back and tag itong 1650 na area. Then if we can break that, that uh, level, no, at this level here, we just need to remember na meron pa tayong mga swing lows dito na could also act as minor resistance. But I think if mabasag natin yan, then that opens up this wide range here all the way possibly hanggang 1964. If, however, from here, since we form tayo ng high, we break down dito sa 1528, then we test it from underneath, ayaw, nag-hold, then nag-push down ulit, baka mangyayari, overshoot lang to, babalik lang tayo sa original range natin. Then from that original range, syempre ayaw natin makita is mabasag tong 1360, because that would look very, very bearish na. Right now, FINA is looking bullish, still holding above the 1530. So let's see what it does in the coming weeks, kung magpapatuloy ba to, and ma-break yung 1650 next. Uh, now let's take a look at prop, no? Properties. Okay. So properties last week, bumalik siya. So ngayon, nag range lang tayo sa area na to. Okay. Not much has changed kasi nga, we're still stuck within this range here and within this larger range pa dito. So again, I want to see it climb back up again above itong 3,460 na area para mag-open up tong range na to dito. Ah, may natira pa pala tayong residue, no? <laughs> itong range na yan dyan. Now, if sabihin natin price came back down here, broke these lows, then I think we go deeper and it starts to look a lot more bearish. Kasi parang baka mabuo tong head and shoulders pattern natin. So una kong gusto makita para ma-invalidate siya, same with the PSEI, same with yung sa holdings na napag-usapan natin last week, is for price to break above the right shoulder high and open up the new range above, possibly targeting yung high nung head at 3866. But for now, it's still ranging. So, nood-nood muna tayo. Hanap tayo ng mga potential opportunities to time our trades better. Uh, next, let's take a look at Indu. No? So, Indu has continued its grind higher. Uh, essentially, right now, we're consolidating in this very tight range. Okay, not much more to say other than we wanted to break above to mga highs na to next. So that's uh, 11. Actually, we should start moving these levels higher. No? So let's do that now. Hindi ko pa pala siya na-move. So I'll be moving this here. Bakit dyan? Kasi ito, nag-act siya as resistance. Support, 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 resistance, and so on. So I expect na if price tags that area, magkaroon tayo ng reaction kahit pa paano. Okay? But for now, it's look, it looks like we're grinding towards that level there. Ang ayaw nating makita now is for price to break back down. Come back into this range. Yun part, okay pa eh. But if you break below tong 10 to ulit, 10 to to 10,000 area, then that opens up this trading range below hanggang 9.7. And if we break that, then we might come back and target itong mga swing lows na nandito. Kung mabasag yan, then we might come back and tag these lows here. If pati to tuluyan mabasag, Diba? Kasi ito yung higher low mo dito sa higher time frame na to eh. Diba? Ito yung may swing na ano eh. Pag pati yan nabasag, then it's gonna look very, very bearish. And I think from there, we just collapse. Um, not fast. Okay? I don't think na isang candle lang biglang ganun. But from there, I think we might see a strong push lower. Kasi it's gonna look very bearish na. So guys, uh, if you like itong mga weekly market overviews natin, you find it helpful, you find it educational, or you find it at least somewhat entertaining, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. No, uh, It's one of the few ways din kasi for me to gauge kung nakakatulong nga ba tong content sa inyo. Kasi syempre, yun naman yung goal. I love to teach, but the goal is to be able to teach and at the same time help all of you. Okay? Now, let's take a look at holdings. So, yung hold, as we discussed, na break na niya yung high nung uh, right shoulder here. And last week, despite the brief dip, this week, nag-close tayo above this level again. So, I want to see it 
maybe consolidate here muna. Okay? So, parang yun yung sinisignify niya na gusto niyang gawin eh. So, consolidate here muna. Then, if we can break above this high again, then I think we come and tag na yung 7614. Diba? Very high probability na. But for now, dahil sa itsura nito, it might just consolidate here muna. I mean, syempre, we could always be wrong and dumiretsyo lang. And syempre, yun naman ang gusto natin. I want the market to be bullish for all of you. Gusto ko lahat tayo kumikita. Diba? But, uh, we have to be realistic din. Hindi naman pwedeng lahat sabay-sabay umaangat. So, this is what I'll be watching out for. Uh, if we can break 7614, then we can target the highs up here sa mga, mga 8,100 na area. If, however, from here, we break below itong swing low, test it from underneath, mag-hold, then we might push back lower and start trading within the range of yung right shoulder again. So, wag naman sana, no? Yun yung ayaw kong makita. Yun yung ayaw ko na scenario. If from there, mabasag natin tong area na to, yung 5,850 to 6,000, then highly likely, uh, we dip lower, maybe test yung mga lows na nabuo, come back into this range here, and then we'll see from there what happens next. Since linggo-linggo naman natin tong ginagawa, I'm sure na sama-sama natin tong mababantayan, sama-sama tayo matututo, sama-sama natin tong matitingnan. And then finally, let's take a look at mining and oil. So, this week, nag-gap down tayo. Diba, sabi natin last week, nag-break above tayo ng uh, resistance na to. So, that resistance came from here. Okay? Break above, it held in this candle. Then, itong candle na to, nag-break below na naman. So, what I was worried about was it would come back and test it underneath, then break lower. Instead, it just gap down. It gap down and more or less stayed down. Hindi na-fill yung gap natin, no? So, same pa rin naman ang iniisip ko. If price comes back to tag 10.4, that holds, it might push lower and then come back into this range here, which is where price is right now. Diba? Bakit iniisip ko na baka mag-tag yan ulit? Kasi usually naman ganun eh. Price doesn't like leaving inefficiencies behind. It usually feels inefficient moves. Maybe even comes back here, ganun. Para lang malinis siya, kumbaga. If sabi naman natin, it comes back, tags it, pushes lower, then breaks 9,000, then I think we come back to this lower range here, 8,066 hanggang 9,016. And then it's not gonna look uh, very bullish na, no? Um, it's gonna look like it's in the giant range. This was your overshoot, possible na giant range lang to. But it's not gonna look quite as bullish na as before when we had the breakout. Uh, Siyempre, yung bullish scenario nito, is from here, we just break higher, break above this high here, then target 11.469 next. Diba? Gusto natin na mabasag agad tong 10.4 sooner rather than later, price to start holding above, and if it does so, break itong high na to at uh, 10,924 to target yun nga, uh, 11.5 na area. Okay? So guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin. Uh, hopefully, uh, nagustuhan nyo naman siya, meron kayo nakuha kay Papano. And as always, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading!